Alrighty, hello YouTube. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get this YouTube uh, to get uh, this video out. Um, I actually hadn't gotten 100% on this level yet, so I had to actually get 100% first before I could make this video. For obvious reasons. Oh, I almost made it. Alright, so anyways, this is by far one of the hardest levels ever to goodie bag. Um, I have no doubt in my mind about that. So, uh, this sticker switch is what got me. I knew for a while that it uh, triggered this race, but I didn't know you got prize bubbles from it. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually get 100% on this video. Depending on how fast you do this race, you'll get certain prizes at the end. I believe it's, if you have around 4,000 points still left on the clock, at the end, at the finish line, you get three prize bubbles. And if you have more than 4,000, you get a trophy. Um, I forget exactly what it's called. It's a PS3 trophy. Um, I don't think I'll be able to actually get all three because I'm going to have to move slowly to get all the prize levels in between. But um, to go, you, you'll, you'll probably end up doing it. It took me like five tries, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this time. Um, anyways, the actual level itself isn't too challenging. Um, I cannot tell you how many times, however, that those crabs killed me. Push this little box when the water is down, and then there's a prize level inside. Uh, so don't miss that one. Wait for the water to come up. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but the water in this level is absolutely ridiculous. I've actually wondered a couple times if this is a secret spot down in here. Um, you can actually get inside here, but there are no prize bubbles. I always found that rather dumb. But um, there's me. Not getting any sort of prize levels, and the only way out is for the water to come back up. So I don't know why that's there. I think with Media Molecules making these levels, they thought they were going to have more prizes to give away than they actually ended up having. So they made all these special little nooks and crannies for hiding prize levels and then didn't even use half of them. Because um, on another part of this level as well, um, near the Times 4 area, uh, that's on this level, right? Yeah. Um, there is an, there is another spot that seems like a perfect place for a prize bubble, but there just isn't one there. So I don't know if uh, Media, Mo Media Molecule was lazy and just uh, didn't want to fix them, or I don't know. But anyways, uh, don't fail like I am right now. Try to be better at getting up here. Jump onto this anchor. You actually have to get the two prize bubbles down beneath there. It releases the boats. Um, you can't move on until you do. Yeah, see, look, I'm already out of time. If I were to be trying to get those prize levels, I'd have to be at the end already, which is quite a ways away. So uh, get, there's a key there. Jump when that thing goes up to get this prize level up here. Come down. Go in here. Now be careful. When the water comes up, a shark comes out. So I usually leave right away. A whole bunch of sharks down here. Two prize levels hidden in this, like, treasure chest down here. So uh, just get those. And go right back up. Yeah, see, I'm already completely out of time now for the race. And I'm only about halfway through it. Grab this, uh, whatever this is, technically called a swing. Um, this right here seems like a really good secret area, too, uh, right up above me, right in there. It is possible to get in there, believe me, I've tried. But I don't see why there isn't a prize level here. Right here, go down. There's a prize level here. And watch, if you continue under, perfect hiding spot, but no prize level. So I don't know. Um, and I need air, so I'm going to attempt to get some of that, and there we go. Come up into this little porthole, and start swimming. Don't do what the arrow tells you. Start swimming this way, and uh, get up on top of this box, and up here, there is a lantern sticker switch. I'm kind of OCD, so I like to fit it to be the exact size of the switch, because I'm just weird like that releases a couple prize bubbles for you and then you can continue on your merry way as I've said before the stickers for all of the Pirates of the Caribbean levels you don't obtain until the level usually directly after them so you have to play through the Pirates of the Caribbean pack oh, I don't know like five times before you can get all the prize bubbles the finish line is right past here I actually don't think I'm going to be getting any prize bubbles um, I might get one. Let's see, there's one on the finish line here. 
And if you get 4,000 seconds, there's also three right here hanging from strings that you can get. So you have to complete the race quickly. There's also that one on top of that barrel over there. So I'm going to attempt to get that for you. Okay. I go on the skeletons with springy teeth. Move on to these weird... I have no idea what these guys are. They seem kind of like... If you could picture Eskimos in the tropics, that's what I basically think of these guys as. I'm pretty sure that's not at all accurate, but uh, it's just what I imagine them as. Another perfect spot for prize bubble on the other side of the skull here. Not there, though. Earthquake. <laughs> Drop in here. The egg area. There's a prize bubble hidden back here, so don't forget that one. Um, I hate these spinning fishes. They're the only real enemies in this pack, all the other ones, like there's the skull guys and the red coats I know, but they're not really enemies because they're like way too easy. Um, so this is getting close to the times four area. There's a prize bubble on top of this barrel. Seems like a popular place to put them. So this is the times four area. So um, what's actually funny is there are, there are five prize bubbles back there and I will um, put this at the end of the level here. Um, so if you continue watching after the end, it'll be the times square area. You'll see what I mean at the end. Um, continue on to this area. So come up here, go over to the left again. And then, uh, this is a really cool one, actually. You get the Davy Jones sack sticker and that thing flies over breaks that wall and then that convenient little block falls down there's three in here too three seems to be the lucky number it's like uh, I, I can only recall one place in this entire pack where there are more than three prize bubbles in one spot so uh the prize bubbles are few and far between in the pirates of the caribbean pack go up here there is one uh, up on this thing here and then, uh, to the cool wheel thing from the movie. Um, I believe that's the end of all the prize bubbles on this level. Um, when I was trying to 100% it, I had 98% for the longest frickin' time. And I was just like, where is the last one? And I cannot tell you how many times I jumped out of this wheel and then walked through this whole area trying to find prize bubbles. And let me tell you, there is absolutely nothing. There's a couple points, though, um, if you're really wanting to get some extra points, go ahead and do that. I also checked over on this side of the ship like a billion times. I was like, there's got to be something here. And there never was. So, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of lame, but you know. Anyways, uh, that is 100%. Um, continue watching directly after this if you want to see the Times 4 area. If you don't, thanks for watching Pookie and David's Cursed Bay 100% tutorial. I won't be doing any more because there aren't really any hidden probably on the Kraken level. So, uh, that's it. See ya. So now, situate them right on the other end of the button. This is a flaw in medium molecules technique. Just go eat, and there, you know what? It worked. What are the odds? You may now kill your little sack buddy. Turn off the controller. And by yourself, you may now venture down into the Pit of Doom. I don't know if there's some sort of pattern. Oh, wait, hold on. I have to wait for Sack Buddy to die. Yeah, if anybody here knows any sort of pattern um, for doing this, please tell me. Because there's one clam open. As soon as you get the thing, it closes and you have no option but to kill yourself in order to get out. So, uh, it's pretty lame. And you usually are on your last life by the time you... Oh, no. I got out. Okay. Guess it just takes finesse. Nope. Didn't do it that time. <sighs> I don't know. There's supposed to be... I think it's just supposed to be like... You're supposed to have four people in reality. So I guess you just... There you go. And then that's the last one. That is the times four area for Cursed Bay. Once you've done that and completed the race and gotten all of the prize level that I've shown you, you should have 100%. Thanks for watching.